Welcome to Android Video Review Video Reviews. My name is Jay Boucher and today I'm going to be reviewing not an app, not a game, but the Bottle of Smoke 4.1 Alpha Honeycomb port for the G Tablet. So uh, I have a ViewSonic G Tablet and recently um, some of the community members have been porting over uh, Honeycomb that was released for I think the Notion Atom and the Nook Color because they all run kind of on the same basic uh, operating system and they're interchangeable so they ported over Honeycomb to the G tablet so this is Alpha 4.1 they've come quite a long way since the beginning since it first was ported over but they still have a lot of work to go and they do know this and they do recognize this um, on the other hand this is an excellent they've done an excellent excellent job so far and I can't express how can't express enough how awesome this app has been this uh, ROM and kernel a custom kernel as well has been um, so one of the things you'll see here is as I'm trying to load up one of the applications is that it is slow so that's one of the things that's going on um, the quadrant score is actually I've been getting um, 2500 which is pretty good but there's a lot of slowdowns, there's a lot of force closes, there's a lot of, you know, we're waiting for this app and stuff. So sometimes there are problems. Um, but this is all, you know, this is all the home screen. So let me show you the browser. Now, Flash is not supported. So that's one thing you do want to keep in mind. Um, if you need Flash or do a lot of stuff with Flash, it's not supported yet. Um, and it's signing into Google. So this signs in, I think, every time because I sync with my uh, with my browser, my bookmarks on um, my computer, and I found the, brow the the stock browser to be very slow. Now other people have had different experiences. I know other people who have said that the stock browser is better and that they don't use any of the third-party browsers. I've found that um, Firefox is really the only browser that I can use. I've just found that the other ones are too slow, too often force closing or having other kind of connectivity issues. Um, and I apologize for the uh, the white drop background with the video tearing. And we're a little out of focus, so let me wait for this to go back into focus. It's not really doing well with this back screen, black, uh, this white screen, the blank screen. So let's let it refocus, and then I'll show you something else. So as you can see right there, you know, the browser didn't even load, which is a, you know, a big problem. Um, let's hit up Firefox. Now I don't. I didn't use Firefox previously. I used the Dolphin browser HD, which I loved. Um, I thought it was the best browser for tablets that you can find, and I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, um, it didn't work too well on this tablet, on the, with this operating system. And it looks like Firefox is kind of having a hard time loading so far, also. So this is another thing. You know, again, the same same kind of issue that we're having like really long loading times, um, really some, you know, force closes and stuff. Um, I, it might be secondary to, I added some widgets. So let me just show you some apps over there. I added some widgets. So we've got um, the beautiful widgets, I think, widget up here for or, um, the weather. We've got the CNN widget. So the CNN, you can swipe down different um, top stories. You can choose what you want it to display through, through the widget. USA Today, same thing. It does top stories, and you can scroll through them. The widgets respond very well. Um, this is the ESPN widget, which I had it listing my favorite teams, which it is listing my favorite teams. Um, and then we go back here. This is the calendar widget, which works well without any trouble. We've got AccuWeather, which also works well without any trouble, going through the town, different towns that I have in it. Um, here is just my the Gmail widget, looking through my, my mail. And over here I have... Um, bookmarks and the CNN widget, CNBC widget from that app. And then I'll show you how, so apps are all stored here. Um, if you hit the apps on the top, there's nothing on the bottom anymore to look at apps. And then I also want to show you, so you've got the, the buttons down here um, that if you want to use them. Um, the back button, the home button, and then the s open up settings button, or uh, not open up settings, I'm sorry. That's the um, pull up recent apps setting, put recent apps button. Go into the settings menu, and all the same, you know, the standard honeycomb settings are all here. Um, I only have two accounts synced to it right now. Um, 
I had one issue with Wi-Fi where it just said Wi-Fi error and I had to reboot it but that completely repaired it. If you want to add stuff to the interface, you hit the plus button on the top and then you can add, through this you can add widgets, you can add shortcuts to any apps, change your wallpapers, and do other stuff, like other kinds of widgets that it has um, that you can download and some also come with it as well. I'm just trying to think of what else to show you. I can show you the actual Gmail app which runs extremely well. I, I love this app. Uh, it looks perfect. Here, I'll, I'll pull up the Android video review. See, like this app looks perfect. You know, this is great. This is exactly how a tablet tablet app should be. And then you can pull up mail, and it shows the mail. Perfect. Runs really, really well. Um, other things that run well, let me see, other things that are stock. The calendar. I love the calendar app. Full screen, takes full advantage of it you know, scrolling, everything. You can sort it by day, you can sort it by month. Scrolling, everything. Um, works really, really well. Haven't had any problems with syncing either. Um, just trying to think of what else I can show you. I can show some video performance in like a game. Um, well, I can say that Angry Birds ran fine without any issues. And it takes a while to load Gun Bros, but I can I can pull it up quickly for you. Um, yeah, so a lot of long wait times, stuff like that. Now you we do not have flash, um, and we do not have hardware acceleration. I mean we we have what's it called? We have um. OpenGL and hardware acceleration technically works, but it doesn't really work that well. Um, there's a lot of issues with it. So there's no real hardware video acceleration, and there's no extremely strong, you know, like the, the Dungeon Defenders, the Tegra specific games, you know, they're at force quit, just quit there. Um, so yeah. So I guess that's a basic overall of what this, you know, this alpha has, has done so far. Um, it's, I love it because I can finally use the Honeycomb apps. And, you know, big support out to all the developers that are doing this because it's not easy and, you know, they, we haven't had much support from uh, the, the uh, NVIDIA and ViewSonic, so they're doing an awesome job. I think this is a great start. We're at a great place now and there's only better things to come. So if you've got any questions, you can check us out at www.androidvideoreview.net. Thanks.